Are you looking for a motivation? Are you in a state of mind that you're feeling that you want to give up one of your goals? This video is for you. Stay here and you will learn more. In addition, how did I become from an assistant to a senior manager in one year? Hello, it is Zira and welcome to Healthy and Happy with Zira to discover the bright side of life. Are you searching for inspiration? This is the right place to be. Together, we will be looking for the key to happiness and those elements that make our everyday life more exciting. Today, I want to focus on you. We will talk about the way that you can succeed quickly and I will share my personal story also and what I have learned from that regarding the way that I managed to progress very quickly in my job. In this challenging time, we can still focus on some positive aspects. Let's take advantage of the fact that we are more at home so we have more time to self-reflect and become a better version of us. I hope that this video will, will lift your spirit and it will give you hope and will motivate you to take action. First of all, let me introduce myself in case that you have not watched the previous episodes. I consider myself multidimensional. I am a healthcare professional, a business manager in the occupational health sector, a model with international titles and also a presenter. So regarding our topic, when I talk about quick success, that doesn't mean that it will happen overnight, of course, but that you will achieve your goals more quickly if you follow those steps in comparison with not doing them. Uh, so does that make sense? Also, let's define success. I consider it very subjective. So it depends on what you consider success or your personal goals. You may just want to find a stable job or to progress professionally in higher levels or to overcome a difficult emotional or psychological status. The most important thing for me is to remember that we have that inner voice that talks to us and knows our real passion from what we would gain happiness and excitement. Many times we tend to ignore that voice, but that voice keeps returning again and again and reminds us the things that we really want to achieve. Do you know what I mean? It is that time that I believe that you should listen to that voice. Sometimes, even if we may seem confused and not really sure what we want, deep within us we know the answer. If that inner voice tells you that I can do this and I would love to do this, then listen to it. It is vital to identify your passion and your goal. You may not know the final one yet, but you will need to identify your next step that you want to achieve. After that, you will need to ensure that you keep monitoring it. For example, if I am aiming on a specific job somewhere, then you should keep an eye on it constantly in order to grab the chance when it will arise and apply multiple times. Moreover, you should identify the reason that you want it. These are important in order to keep you motivated, to keep you going when you will be in a situation that, are that is difficult for you, because all of us have those moments. We cannot control everything of it. In addition, after defining what you really want and what you will consider success for yourself, you need to define what you're willing to do about it. Some goals may need a lot of investments that you may not want to do, either regarding your time, budgets, etc. Consider that the higher responsibilities you have, the more demanding the situation will probably be. Another important thing to remember is that even when you know what you want and you are trying really hard to achieve that, you will have people around you that will lift your spirit and encourage you to continue, but also other people that will discourage you and that, you may, that may stuck in your head, in your mind and may make you doubt yourself. Those moments are the moments that are very fragile and that is the time that you should step up, become stronger and continue. Because if you are at a point at that moment that you do not have much self-confidence, that can cost you your success because you will stop trying. In those situations, we need to be able to identify which negative feedback is constructive and genuine which will help you improve and which one is something that you want to discard. So we need to surround ourselves with people that we trust their opinion and 
they know as well people that will support you but will also try to help you and improve you by being honest. Other people will say their opinion based on what they think, judging with their own standards but actually without even knowing in you well enough, without knowing what you really want, without asking you what is your purpose, what are you trying to achieve. Most importantly, people that may do a discouraging comment most of the times are people that do not know anything about your achievement, the way that you function, the way that you are determined to achieve your goals, which all of them determine your success. Consider the points that they are making, but also if they really help you and represent you or not. Here is the fine line that you will take decisions and not allowed to be demotivated. Whatever you want to achieve in your life, find people who will elevate you, not bring you down. I had also such examples in my life too. There have been people that have told me that I inspired them and a few that have done discouraging comments. What did they do? My favorite quote in life is, I can and I will, just wait and watch me. So I left my achievement speak for myself. Because of all those, it is important to believe in yourself, your capabilities and passions and have self-respect. This is something that you work on it over the time. Remind yourself uh, all the achievements that you have done, things that you're proud of, the difficulties that you have overcome and gain strength from those uh, when you have self-doubts. Sometimes we're very strict with ourselves, so remember those but also speak to people that you trust and can help you. In business and your personal life, self-confidence is a prerequisite for taking massive action. You need to be able to believe in yourself, to take the leap into entrepreneurship or any other aspiration. Believing in yourself leads to exceptional leadership because self-confidence lets you manage and inspire others with assurance and direction. So, learning how to believe in yourself is critical to creating the life you desire. Before we continue, I want us to have a look at the following video, where you will find my favorite parts from the statements of Tony Robbins. Tony Robbins is a number one life and business strategist, an entrepreneur, a self-made millionaire, number one New York Times best-selling author and a philanthropist. Let's have a look. You know, all the time, you, Tony, you work with some of the most successful people in the world in sports, entertainment, and business. You know, what is it they all have in common? What is that magical force? It's insatiable hunger, that desire to do more, to be more, to give more, to create more. Someone who will not settle for less than they can be, less than they can give, that is power. That you feel an energy from. That energy is this drive, and this drive is hunger. Now, what does it sometimes is you hit a threshold. I know that's what it was for me. If you've got a hunger to serve something greater than yourself, you'll never hurt for energy. You'll never hurt for excitement. You'll never hurt for the drive or the ability to push yourself through limitations. Change your story, change your life. We all have a story about why we are where we are. If you're not where you want to be in your life, in some area, like the bottom line is, you've got a story why it's that way. And the story we tell ourselves protects us from pain. It gives us a reason why it's not our fault or it's going to be okay in the future. But the story that protects you also imprisons you. It keeps you from changing your life. So in order to create a change in your life, you really truly got to change your story. You got to shift your story. You got to find a story that's going to empower you, a story that's going to strengthen you, a story that will push you beyond anything you've ever done in the past. Make the decision that says, I will not suffer. I'm going to live in a beautiful state no matter, no matter what if it rains on your prey. What if your best friend screws you over? What if somebody yells at you? What if you get humiliated? What if you go broke? What if you lose your job? Could you still be happy, yes or no? Are there people who've lost arms, legs, been blinded, lost their family, and they're still loving and happy and beautiful, yes or no? And they aren't just Mother Teresa, they're not just Nelson Mandela, they're any human being that decides to live where it's not about themselves. Just do more, give more, share more, create more. What you need will be there. No matter how bad your life is, the first thing you should do is to help somebody else who's worse off because it'll put everything in perspective. I don't care how bad it is. You're missing a leg. You're, you've lost your job. The way out of that, strengthen your mind. Read. Feed your mind. But go help somebody else. 
everybody wants to change, but nobody wants to work out. You know, everybody wants muscle, but nobody wants to train. We don't realize that the process of training ourselves, the process of conditioning ourselves actually feels incredible. Once you get that initial momentum, you get a side you're going to commit to mastery. The only thing that's going to make you happy, my friend, in this year or any other, is to step up. In addition, you will need to work on yourself, evolve you, train you, make you the better version of you. Identify your strong aspects and keep them, but also the aspects that you need to reinforce more. You know better your strengths and your weaknesses. Maybe you need more education on something or professional experience. If you really want it, you will find the way to do it. Also, identify if the environment that you are in is good enough for you or not. Most of the systems are scheduled in the way that they would work for the majority, but they are not personalized. So if you think that you can do it faster, that there is a way to speed up the process, then do not delay yourself. Don't just rely on the situation and take it as a given one. I did the same when I was transitioning in the different job positions during the year that I am describing you. Moving to a new country meant that I had to start from scratch, to pass exams and work as an assistant until I was able to work on my profession. When I started that, then I managed to move into higher levels, skipping hierarchy ranks. I had to do personal sacrifices, work hard, be very dedicated to the goal and strict with myself. Identify what was not working for me and how I could improve it. I took extra lessons, etc. And everything was totally worth it. At that moment, I felt that everything that I had done in my life contributed to achieving. This is why I believe that every experience evolves us and shapes us. So, embrace it. Even some negative ones will make you find alternative solutions and will make you understand that you have the power to overcome them. So, use them as your weapon and to strengthen you and remember that you are the one that can determine the way that you will respond to that. To use it as something that uh, will pull you down or something that will make you stronger. Furthermore, many times I hear people around me saying that they cannot achieve things because of the high unemployment levels in their country, because of financial difficulties or lack of support. While it's understandable that some situations are more beneficial or easy for some people, because they may have a better financial situation, supported environment, etc., that does not mean that you cannot achieve your goals. The only thing that is sure is that if you rely on those reasons and do not take any action, then you will not achieve your goal. On the other hand, you will increase your chances if you are motivated, stay active and try to identify the way that you can achieve your goal. Talking about the social environment, your professional network is very important and this has been emphasized a lot in many seminars that I have been. It is vital to surround yourself with like-minded people, people that can inspire you and that you can help each other, but also that you could potentially cooperate or learn from each other. If you do not have one, start building it. For example, if you're an entrepreneur, there are a lot of events that bring startups together and uh, successful people talk there, but also investors attend. So it is the perfect place to meet new people, to gain new ideas, or maybe meet your future investors. Remember one thing, if you are just sitting at home waiting for things to happen, they will never happen. I used to go to those kind of events and I learned a lot, but also got inspired and found out the way that other people have achieved their goals. Even if they are not too related with what you do or are trying to do, they will still benefit you having those examples in your mind. So, inspiration is important. Get inspired from your environment, from what you read and watch on a daily basis, from people who have achieved your goals, uh, from documentaries about people who have done great things in life. This will be your weapon and you will know that you can do it too. Let's talk about luck now, because people tend to say, you are so lucky that this happened to you. What I genuinely believe is that you make your own luck, you create your chances. 
Why? There are certainly things that you cannot control and there will always be. There are certainly things that you can do to increase your chances to achieve what you want. Things will not come to you if you do not pursue them. If you are not happy with the situation, then you are the only one that can change that and your whole life. Talking about that, what about our fears? It's human nature to experience fear and anxiety. But when you believe in yourself, you realize that those emotions are to encourage you to take action, not to hold you back. People with self-belief turn fear into action by challenging themselves and focusing on their goals as part of their overall purpose in life. When you have a vision for your life that you truly believe in, you can accomplish anything you desire. Realize what is holding you back, but also how could you mitigate that? Furthermore, it is vital to always keep going. All of us have times when we just don't think that we can do it. But the most important thing is to never give up. You'll inevitably encounter obstacles, but it's how you react to them that matters. Your psychology and mindset are the most important aspects you have and will make a difference in your results. Many times the mindset that I have is that I will find a solution for that issue and eventually then I manage to do so. What I also want to highlight is that you need to keep a work-life balance and be kind to yourself. Depending on your goal, it may require months or years till you reach it. So you need to be aware that even if you choose to do some personal sacrifices for that, like not sleeping much because of time restrictions, not relaxing enough, etc., you should remember that this should be a short-term situation and that you put in place measures to mitigate that because you need to consider that you will need to have the psychological and physical strength to continue the effort in a long-term perspective, but also to keep you close to your beloved ones and continue enjoying your life because our time is valuable. Let's have a look at the following powerful video that is made especially for you. This is what I would like you to remember from today. Obviously, there are a lot of things that we can discuss for success, but this is what we had the time for today, and those ones are the elements that I consider the most important. If you're watching us from social media, don't forget to like and share uh, the video if you like it, and subscribe to our channels. You will find all of the episodes on YouTube at Healthy and Happy with Ira, where you also will find subtitles. Till the next time, take care and see you soon. Bye.